Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and today I will be showing you how to play the new Pokemon Snap game on Yuzu Emulator. Now before we get started, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below if this video works for you so other people know it's real. Alright, so all the links will be down in the description. If they don't work, join my Discord server. And the first thing you're going to get is Yuzu Emulator or Yuzu Emulator Early Access from the links down below. Now for the regular Yuzu, you just run the installer and then open Yuzu. For Yuzu Early Access, you get a zip file, you extract that zip file and run the yuzu.exe, which will be in the folder, Yuzu Early Access, and then the number, in my case, 1637. Now after you start Yuzu, you will get this error. Uh, and it's basically you're missing the prod keys. So we're gonna click OK on that and you can share your data. I'm gonna click no and we're gonna go to file and open Yuzu folder. Okay, so in here you will have a few folders and the one we're looking for is the one called keys. If you don't have a keys folder, make one and rename it to keys, exactly like that. Now in here you'll have to get your prod keys file from the description and you're gonna drag and drop it in here. Now what we're going to do is double click to add a new folder to the games list. So you double click this plus and you're going to find your game folder, not the game file itself, the folder that it's in. So if you downloaded it and it's still in your downloads folder, just select the downloads folder. Um, but yeah, I'm going to click select folder and you'll see that the folder is here. To be sure, if you have folders in folders, right click and check scan subfolders and make sure it's checked. Now you can't see your games yet, even though we added the prod keys and that is because you have to restart your Yuzu. So close it and open it again. Okay, so I reopened my Yuzu and as you can see, my games are in here. If you want any of the other games, check out my other videos on those and join the Discord server. Now from here, we're going to go to the emulation tab and click configure. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to UI and change this to dark, colorful and press OK because I like my eyes. I'm going to go back to the same menu. Everything should be the same, but it looks a little different because of the UI. Now in here, you don't really have to change anything under system. Same thing. If you want to change the time, you can use custom RTC and change it. Uh, we don't really need that here. You don't really have to change anything as well. Under CPU, you want to choose unsafe and make sure all of these are checked. If your game does not work, try putting it back to accurate, but this might actually help with compatibility with systems. Now under debug, you don't have to change anything. Now graphics, I'm going to choose OpenGL since I'm using a Nvidia GPU. If you have an AMD graphics card, so GPU, I recommend choosing Vulkan. Also, we don't have shader cache for this game yet. So maybe Vulkan is the right choice. I'm going to choose OpenGL. I haven't tested with Vulkan. So if you're running Vulkan and you're running into issues, try OpenGL with AMD graphics cards as well. I'm just saying I recommend Vulkan for AMD graphics cards. I'm going to keep OpenGL. If you would choose Vulkan, after that you choose your graphics card. But for OpenGL, it will just pick the OpenGL graphics card. You might want to check your NVIDIA control panel. If you have like an Intel HD and a GeForce graphics card that it doesn't pick the Intel HD one. Now here you want to keep these all checked under advanced. I'm going to turn all of these on some options. The top two are OpenGL only. Uh, I don't think it will interfere if you have them on while using Vulkan. But if you're having issues, try disabling them. Also the experimental middle two, you can disable them if you're having issues. Accuracy level should be on high. And isotropic filtering, I always put it on 16x, although I don't think it does much in Yuzu. Now for audio, I disable audio stretching and I turn the volume to 90%, but you can also do that another way. You don't really have to do this. Now for controls, this is kind of important. Whoops. Make sure you use dual Joy-Cons. Make sure console mode is docked. Now in here, I'm going to choose my Xbox One controller. If you can't find your controller, try pressing this button. Uh, the controller should already be set up. As you can see, I am, I am moving my thumbstick. For vibration, you can turn it off here or configure it how much you want per player. Same with motion control. My controller doesn't have it. You can emulate it with a phone as a controller or with like a PS4 controller. You can tilt it, but yeah, 
my controller doesn't have that and I don't need it and I will show you how. Okay, so after this you click OK, we're done setting things up. Now if you have shader cache, which I will put in the description if I have any, this is how you're going to add it. Now first of all you have to launch the game once, then close the game. So let me just do that. For the OpenGL people like me, you're going to right click on Pokemon Snap and press open transferable shader cache. If you would do this before you launch the game, it will say that there's no shader cache for this title. Uh, but now because we launched the game, it did make one. Now, if I have a shader cache in the description, copy it and paste it in here and replace the existing one because it will be bigger than the one you just made. And the more shader cache, the smoother the game will run because then it doesn't have to make that shader cache, which will make the game stutter a little bit. Now, after all of this, you can launch the game. As you can see, just loaded some shader cache. I have to blur the screen so Nintendo doesn't copyright me, but you will get to the screen and uh, you will be able to press A. If you're not able to press A uh, automatically, then uh, try to go to emulation, configure, go to controls, press any button, do it again, press OK, then it should work. Now, you can drag this with your mouse. It's a little buggy. But as you can see it works, you can also use your joystick. For me that, that uh, worked until I clicked. <laughs> just know that you can. Yeah, so don't click, but if you already clicked, you can just basically just do this. And then just use your A button on the Switch controller to select it, basically. Now here you can put your name. Now as you can partly see, the game is working. Everything is looking smooth, 60 FPS. This is an animation, of course, but even that works. We'll be in the gameplay in a second. All right, so this is basically gameplay, uh, partly blurred, obviously. Okay, so as you can see, I can move the camera with my left thumbstick. And uh, yeah, we're gonna take a pic of this dude. All right, well, that is all. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. We're on the road to 30K this year. And comment down below if this works so other people know it's real. And uh, yeah, that's all for me. If anything doesn't work, please ask in the Discord server, not in the comments because I get a lot of comments and it will be impossible to help you without screenshots, etc. So join the Discord server to chat with me and others anyway. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Peace.